Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So in this video, I'm going to start the problems on valuation of perquisites. The last video I have explained you in detail regarding what are perquisites, what are the rules, provisions of Income Tax Act regarding the valuation of perquisites. And perquisites are divided into fully taxable, fully tax free and partly taxable perquisites. All these things I have explained in the previous video. Hope you have watched that video and then only you can be able to understand. I already told you this income tax subject are interlinked. That means one video is connected with another video. So if you have joined in between, you may not be able to understand. So you have to keep consistency, continuity in watching the videos. So I suggest you if you have not watched, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject income tax 1 for the assessment year 2021. Watch the video, select the video income from salary. Watch all the videos, then only you can be able to understand the problems on perquisites. So perquisites, already I have explained you, are the benefits which are given by the employer to the employee, either in cash or in kind. The perquisite may be provided either to the employee or to the family members. So according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, perquisites are also taxable. Income Tax Act has given the rules provisions regarding how to value the perquisite. So in detail, I have explained in the previous video. Now, now I'm putting those provisions in the problems. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems. I have given these problems in the link under my description. So go to the link, get a copy and keep it ready before watching the problems. Now first problem, Problems on rent-free accommodation. Mr. Mohan is working in AG office in Chennai. His salary particulars are as follows. Basic pay 17,500 per month, DA 2,800 per month, servant allowance 300 per month. He is provided with a rent-free accommodation in Chennai. The rent of the accommodation as per government rules is Rs. 8,000 per month. He is also provided with a television set and a refrigerator that is hired for rupees 2000 per month. Compute the value of rent free accommodation. So before starting this problem, I'll briefly recap the points. For calculating the value of rent free accommodation, first of all, we have to value it as an unfurnished accommodation. After getting the value of unfurnished accommodation, add 10% of the cost of furniture or hire charges of furniture. Then we'll get value of rent free furnished accommodation, right? Now, for calculating the value of perquisites, all the employees are divided into two categories government employees or non government employees. So, first of all, you have to see whether the SSC is a government or non government. In our problem, it is given Mr. Mohan is working in AG office. AG stands for Accountant General's Office. So, Accountant General AG is a government department. It's a department which keeps all the accounts of the government. So AG office is a government office. So Mr. Mohan is a government employee. So for government employee, the value of the perquisite is rent fixed by the government. Remember this point. This is the provision given by the Income Tax Act. For a government employee, the rent fixed by the government is the value of the perquisite. We should not take any other item. We simply need what is the rent fixed by the government. In our problem, it is given the rent of the accommodation as per government rules is 8,000 rupees per month. We are not concerned with salary, basic, servant allowance or any other thing. For calculating the value of rent free accommodation, we simply need the rent fixed by the government. That's it. So here I have given the presentation of this problem is like this. Computation of value of rent free accommodation of Mr. Mohan for the assessment year 2021. The SSC Mr. Mohan is a government employee. So the value of rent free unfurnished accommodation is the rent fixed by government. That is 8000 per month. Clearly I have written here this sentence. So you must write in examination the SSC is a government employee. So simply the rent fixed by the government is the value of accommodation. The value of rent free unfurnished. First of all you have to calculate the value of unfurnished. Later on you have to add up the cost of furniture. 10% of the cost of furniture. The value of rent free uh, unfurnished accommodation 8000 per month into 12. 96000 plus 
higher charges of furnishing in this problem it is given furniture is also provided and the furniture is owned by the employer in that case 10 percent of the cost of furniture you have so no hatchet sorry the furnishing may be two methods furnishing may be owned by the employer or furniture may be hired by the employer if the furniture is owned by the employer then we should take 10 percent of the cost of furniture if the furniture is hired by the employer then whatever higher charges paid by the employer that will be added so in our problem some geezer he also provided a television set and a refrigerator television set and refrigerator will come under the category of furnishing furnishing so what are the higher charges 2000 rupees per month so 2000 per month into 12 24000 is the higher charges so add up 96000 plus 24000 1 lakh 20000 is the value of rent free furnished accommodation that's it this is the first problem second problem mr suresh is working in income tax department and his salary particulars are as follows remember income tax department is also one of the government department so just like the previous problem basic salary 12000 per month da 2500 per month cca 3500 per month children education allowance for his two children 3000 per annum he is provided rent free accommodation in an apartment which is hired by the department for rupees 3000 per month while the license fee fixed by the government is 2700 per month and the furniture provided to him which is uh, valued at 60000 during the year compute the value of rent free accommodation see here. again just like the previous problem this is also a problem of government employee when he is a government employee the value of rent free unfurnished accommodation is the rent fixed by the government we should not take into consideration basic pay da cca children education allowance all these things we don't require we require only the rent fixed by the government here one more thing is given he is uh, provided with rent free accommodation and apartment which is hired by the department the accommodation is not owned by the department but the accommodation is hired by the department immaterial we don't require it hard charges also we don't require we simply need what is the rent fixed by the government here it is given the license fee fixed by the government is 2700 this license fee is the rent fixed by the government so 2700 is the rent fixed by the government and that is the value of the permissive and the furniture is owned by the employer previous problem furniture was hired so we have taken higher charges here furniture is owned by the employer so 10% of the cost of furniture will be added that's it see here the SSC Mr. Suresh is a government employee so the value of rent free accommodation is rent fixed by the government 2700 only we require rent fixed by the government the value of rent free unfurnished accommodation 2700 into 12 32400 to this we add 10% of the cost of furniture provided so 10% of the cost of furniture provided 10% of 60,000 is 6,000 add up 38,400 is the value of rent free furnished accommodation that's it two problems we have done now see the third one problem number three Mr. Kailash is working in Indian Railways at Bangalore again Indian Railways is a government department so Indian Railways, the employee of Indian Railways are government employees. His salary particulars are as follows. Basic pay 78,000 per annum. Children education allowance 2,000 per annum for his three children. Entertainment allowance 5,000 per annum. He is provided with rent free accommodation with a municipal rental value 4,800 per month. Government rental value 5,000 per month and fair rental value 7,500 per month compute the value of rent free accommodation see first of all you have to see whether he is a government or non-government if government employee is there then value of rent free accommodation is the rent fixed by the government nothing else we should take in this problem we are given uh, municipal rental value fair rental value we are not concerned municipal rental value means the rental value of the property fixed by the municipal authorities local authorities Whereas fair rental value means rent of the similar accommodation in the same locality. 
we don't require municipal rental value we don't require fair rental we want the government rental value the government rental value is 5000 per month that's it we don't require salary da children education allowance entertainment allowance we don't require for calculating value of rent free accommodation now the SSC Mr. Kailash is a government employee, so the value of rent free accommodation is the rent fixed by the government that is 5000 per month. Value of rent free accommodation 5000 into 12, 60,000. That's all. We don't require any other information. Now, fourth problem Srimati Vani is working in a company in a town of Kerala state as manager. The first line it is given that the SSC Srimati Vani is a non-government employee because she is working in a company she is working in a company so first time first three problems we have seen the SSC was government employee this fourth problem we have a non-government employee now the provisions are different her salary particulars are as follows basic pay 8000 per month DA 25% which enters for retirement benefit bonus 21,000 she is provided with rent free accommodation owned by the employer the population of the town is 12 lakh with a fair rental value of rupees 3000 per month the first three months only she was provided with television set and a refrigerator and a geyser which were hired at rupees 600 per month and later she was provided with furniture at a cost of 1 lakh 20 thousand compute the value of rent free accommodation See, this problem is entirely different from the first three problems. First of all, the SSC is a non-government employee. When the SSC is a non-government employee, then two situations are there. The first situation, the accommodation may be owned by the employer. And second situation, the accommodation may be hired by the employer. That you have to see. The first case, if the accommodation is owned by the employer, then Income Tax Act has given three different rates. Where, we, where the accommodation is provided, we have to see. If the accommodation is provided in a town, in a small town, where the population is up to 10 lakh, up to 10 lakh population, it's a small town, and the value of the purpose is 7.5% of salary. If the accommodation is provided in a town where population is more than 10 lakh, but up to 25 lakh, more than 10 lakh but up to 25 lakh that in that case the value of the purchase is 10 percent of salary if the population of the town is more than 25 lakh 15 percent of salary is the value of the purchase so three rates are given by the income tax act 7.5 percent of salary 10 percent of salary 15 percent of salary small Town up to 10 lakh population 7.5 percent medium town more than 10 lakh but up to 25 lakh population 10 percent of salary. more than 25 lakh big town 15 percent of salary now in our problem it is given 12 lakh is the population the 12 lakh means more than 10 lakh it's a medium town so for medium town 10% of salary is the value of the per gusette. 10%. So the presentation will be the SSC Srimati Vani is a non government employee. The accommodation is owned by the employer. It is provided in a town whose population is 12 lakh. That point we have to keep in mind before proceeding to calculate. Now, value of per is 10% of salary. Because the population is more than 10 lakh but less than 25 lakh, up to 25 lakh more than 10 lakh up to 25 lakh in between is 12 lakh so for medium towns 10 percent of salary is the value of the purpose now we must know what do you mean by the term salary in the previous video i've explained you that salary meaning will differ from provision to provision for calculating entertainment allowance salary means different for calculating hra meaning of salary is different for calculating rent free accommodation the meaning of the term salary is different so what do you mean by salary for calculating RFA, rent free accommodation? Salary means basic plus bonus plus fees plus commission. Remember, basic plus bonus plus fees plus commission plus all taxable allowances except DA. And DA will be included if it enters for retirement benefit. Plus 
all monetary, any monetary payment are made by the employer other than perquisites, not on perquisites, we should include. Then any income tax or profession tax paid or reimbursed by the employer. Again, I repeat, salary means basic plus bonus plus fees plus commission plus all taxable allowances except DA. DA will be included if it enters for retirement benefit. Plus any monetary benefit given by the employer other than perquisites plus profession income tax or profession tax paid or reimbursed by the employer. These are the items that will come under the head salary. Now in our problem we don't have all these. We have only basic. Basic is given 8000 per month. So 8000 into 12, uh, 96000. 8000 into 12, 96000. Plus 25% of 96000. It is given DA enters for retirement benefit. So DA should be included. How much is DA? 25% of what? Of basic. When it is given only 25%, it means 25% of basic. Here basic is 96,000. So 25% of 96,000, you'll get 24,000. Plus bonus. Bonus is given in the problem 21,000. So we include bonus also. So 90, 96,000 plus 24,000 plus 21,000, 1 lakh 41,000 is the salary. Now 10% of salary, 10% of 1 lakh 41,000, 14,100. Got it? 10% of salary is 14,100. Now we proceed to compute the value of the perquisite. Value of rent free unfurnished accommodation, 14,100. To this we add higher charges. Some furniture is provided for 3 months. Television set, geyser and refrigerator, these are provided only for 3 months on higher charges. So how much is the hard charges? 600 rupees per month. First 3 months. First 3 months furniture is provided which is provided by taking it on higher. So 600 into 3, 1800. Remaining part 9 months. Out of 12 months of the year, first 3 months furniture is provided which is hired. So a 600 per month into 3, 1800. Remaining 9 months period, own furniture is provided. The furniture is owned by the employer, by the company. How much is the cost? 1,20,000. So 1,20,000 into 10%. This 10% is given by the Income Tax Act. So 10% of 1,20,000, 12,000. 12,000 for one year. But we don't require for one year. We require for nine months. So 12,000 into 9 by 12, 9,000. Take the total, you'll get 24,900 is the value of rent-free furnished accommodation. So we have completed four problems on valuation of rent-free accommodation. Come on, now we'll start the next problem, problem number five. Already four problems we have completed on valuation of rent-free accommodation. Now, fifth problem. Mr. Raj is working with a private company in a small town in Krishna district of AP. First point, the SSC Mr. Raj is a non-government employee and he is working in a small town. Small town means where the population is less than 10 lakh. Then his salary particulars are as follows. Basic pay 5000 per month, DA 3200 per month, project allowance 400 per month, medical allowance 500 per month, uniform allowance 300 per month and he spent 2000 for his uniform in the year. He is provided with rent free accommodation owned by the employer and the rental value for the similar accommodation is 600 per month. The furniture costing rupees 8000 is provided by the company. Compute the value of rent free accommodation. For calculating the rent free accommodation, first you have to see whether it is government or non-government. Here, non-government employee. Secondly, you have to see whether it is owned or hired. The accommodation is owned by the employer or the accommodation is hired by the employer. Here it is specifically given, he is provided with rent free accommodation owned by the employer. When it is owned by the employer, it depends on the city, small, medium or large. If small city, 7.5% of salary is the value of the perquisite. If medium city, 10% of salary is the value of the perquisite. If large city, 15% is the value of the perquisite. That's it. Here it is given small town. Small town means less than 10 lakh population. So value of the perquisite is 7.5% of salary. 
that is the question we are not concerned with rent of similar accommodation it is given rent value of the similar accommodation 600 per month we don't require it we want only the meaning of the term salary that's it 7.5 percent of salary is the value of the perquisite if the accommodation is owned by the employer and it is provided in a small town so here the solution will be the SLC Mr. Raj is a non-government employee the accommodation is owned by the employer and provided in a small town so the value of the purchaser is 7.5 percent of salary that is that's it so simply we have to calculate salary of that salary 7.5 percent we need to calculate the salary the meaning of the sal term salary many students will forget will make a mistake while computing salary salary means basic plus bonus plus fees plus commission plus all taxable allowances except DA and DA will be included if it enters for retirement benefit plus any monetary benefit given by the employer other than perquisites plus profession tax or income tax paid or reimbursed by the employer so this is the meaning of the term salary you have to remember don't commit any mistake in calculating the salary in our problem basic is given 5000 per month you can see basic salary 5000 per month so 5000 into 12 60000 secondly after basic salary da 3200 nothing is given only DA 3200 per month is given it is not given entering for retirement benefit so we should not take if in the problem it is given specifically DA enters for retirement benefit then only we should take otherwise we should not take so we are not taking DA then after that project allowance 400 project allowance is fully taxable so 400 per month into 12 4800 after project allowance medical allowance 500 per month medical allowance fully taxable fully taxable allowance so 500 per month into 12 6000 plus uniform allowance 300 per month and spent 2000 for his uniform in the year regarding uniform allowance income tax act has given unspent amount is taxable unspent amount is taxable that means how much allowance he got 300 per month into 12 3600 so in one year an employee got 3600 uniform allowance out of 3600 he spent 2000 he spent 2000 how much is the unspent amount 3600 minus 2000 1600 so you can see 1600 300 into 12 3600 3600 minus 2000 1600 the so salary will be 72400 72400 so how much salary is the value of the perquisite 7.5% of salary is the value of the perquisite so value of rent free unfurnished accommodation 7.5% 7.5 percent of 72,400 it comes to 5,430 to this we add 10 percent of the cost of furniture provided it is given the furniture costing 8,000 is provided the cost of the furniture is 8,000 10 percent of 8,800 add up 6,230 is the value of rent free furnished accommodation that's it now sixth sixth and last problem on valuation of rent free accommodation the sixth problem you see carefully mr k is working with xyz batteries limited he is posted in rajamandri population is 3.75 lakh and his salary particulars are as follows first of all the ssc is a non-government employee and accommodation is provided in a small town rajamandri town where the population is 3.75 lakh it is less than 10 lakh when it is less than 10 lakh that means it's a small town but we have to see whether the accommodation is owned or hired if it is owned then only we require the size of the town if it is hired we don't require the size of the town and its salary particulars are as follows basic pay 1 lakh 50 thousand per annum per annum 1 lakh 50 thousand so per month how much 12,500 calculate 1,50,000 divided by 12 1,50,000 divided by 12 you get 12,500 
पर मंथ सो बेसिक सैलरी वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड पर एनम डी एस सिक्सटी थ्री थाउजेंड पर एनम इट इज नॉट स्पेसिफाइड एंटरिंग फॉर रिटायरमेंट बेनिफिट सो इग्नोर डीए डीए विल नॉट बी टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन बिकॉज इट इज नॉट एंटरिंग फॉर रिटायरमेंट बेनिफिट बोनस वन पॉइंट फाइव मंथ सैलरी बेसिक तो बोनस विल बी टेकन इन द टर्म सैलरी वन पॉइंट फाइव मंथ सैलरी CCA fully taxable, lunch allowance fully taxable. He is provided with rent-free accommodation, which is hired by the company on a monthly rent of three thousand per month. This is the first problem where the SSC is a non-government employee and the accommodation is hired. When the accommodation is hired, we are not concerned with the size of the population. Size of the population, we are not concerned. For small city, medium city, big city, the provisions are same. Fair rental value four thousand per month. We don't require the total cost of furniture provided is sixty thousand. So ten percent of sixty thousand will the will be added. Compute the uh, value of rent free accommodation. First time we are coming across a problem where the accommodation is hired by the employer. So here the SSC Mr K is a non government employee. The accommodation is hired by the employer. So the value of the purchaser is least of the following two amounts. Now you have to remember first time we are applying least of the following two. First actual hire charges paid by the company by paid by the employer. The employer has taken the accommodation on rent. Monthly rent paid by the company is three thousand. So three thousand into twelve thirty six thousand is the annual rental charges paid by the employer. Or Second, fifteen percent of salary. Fifteen percent of salary. <clears throat> so fifteen percent of. Now you have to find out in working note how much is the salary. Salary means again you have to remember. I am not writing it again. Already I have written. Salary means basic plus bonus plus fees plus commission plus all taxable allowances except DA. DA will be included if it enters for retirement benefit. Plus any monetary benefit other than per visit is given by the employer. Plus income tax or profession tax paid or reimbursed by the employer. That is the meaning of the term salary. I am not writing it again. So we will take the basic. Basic salary is twelve thousand five hundred per month. It is given one lakh fifty thousand per annum. So one lakh fifty thousand divided by twelve, you will get twelve thousand five hundred. So twelve thousand five hundred into twelve, one lakh fifty thousand plus bonus. It is given in the problem. Bonus is one point five month basic. One point five month basic. So basic salary monthly is twelve thousand five hundred. Monthly is twelve thousand five hundred. So twelve thousand five hundred into one point five, you'll get eighteen thousand seven fifty. Plus CCA. It is given CCA. City compensatory allowance thirty thousand per annum, fully taxable. We'll take CCA thirty thousand. Plus one more allowance is given. That is uh, lunch allowance. Lunch allowance is also fully taxable, fifteen hundred per month. So fifteen hundred per month into twelve, it comes to eighteen thousand. Now add up, you'll get two lakh sixteen thousand seven fifty is the salary. So don't commit any mistake while calculating salary. Otherwise, whole calculations will go wrong. So remember which are the items to be included, which are not to be included. DA not included because it is not entering for retirement benefit. So fifteen percent of two lakh sixteen thousand seven fifty, you are getting thirty two thousand five thirteen. The least of these two is the value of the rent-free unfurnished accommodation. What is the least? Thirty-two thousand five thirteen is the least, and this is the value of rent-free unfurnished accommodation. The so value of rent-free unfurnished accommodation thirty-two thousand five thirteen. To this, we add ten percent of the cost of furniture provided. The ten percent of sixty thousand six thousand. The total will be thirty-eight thousand five thirty is the value of rent-free. furnished accommodation totally six problems i have explained you regarding the valuation of rent free accommodation so there are two kind cases that is uh, government employee non government employee if the government employee if the if it is a government employee then rent fixed by the government is the value of the perquisite very simple no need of any calculations rent fixed by the government is the value of the perquisite for government employee no need to see the city the, the, the town size of the town nothing 
rent fixed by the government is the value of the purchase. For non-government employee, we have to see whether the accommodation is owned or hired. If the accommodation is owned by the employer, then we have to see the city, small, medium, large. If small city is 7.5% of salary, medium city 10% of salary, large city 15% of salary. These three rates are given 7.5%, 10%, 15%. If the accommodation is owned by the employer. If the accommodation is hired by the employer, then least of the following two is the value of the perquisite. Just now we have seen actual rent paid by the company, by paid by the employer or 15% of salary, whichever is least. That is the value of rent free unfurnished accommodation. After calculating the value of rent free unfurnished accommodation, add 10% of the cost of furniture provided or higher charges of furniture. That's it. Meaning of the term salary, you have to remember. That's all. These are the provisions regarding valuation of rent free unfurnished rent free accommodation. Hope you have enjoyed my lecture. You understood the provisions of Income Tax Act. I have explained to the best of my ability. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, with my classes, with my sessions, give a like to the video. Give your precious comments. Share it in your group, in your friend circle so that more students can enjoy, can acquire the knowledge of this income tax. And lastly, if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe my channel. We'll continue in the next video, the other perquisites.